okay hi students so today we are going to continue the topic which we have discussed in the previous video so just recap the things what we have discussed in the previous videos so actually we discussed about errors how errors occurs what are it kinds how we can decrease the proportion of errors and at the same time what is fractional error so this is a fractional error fractional error is nothing but mean absolute value by true value so if if it is in addition and subtraction we have different method if it is in multiplication and division we have two methods so this is how we discussed percentage error if in case this fractional error is mentioned in percentage error simply we have to multiply with the 100 as we have done here so this is how we have calculated last week and the next and the most important thing is if in case we got x in as it given in this figure that is nothing but in this formula our problem a to the power of n b to the power of m in that case it is going to multiply fractional error in this way here the power is going to multiply into the fractional error or percentage error if in case you multiply with 100 it turns into percentage error same here vice versa so m delta b by b into 100 so this is how we start now let's start to discuss some problems Okay, let's assume the length is 4 plus or minus 0 0.4. Next, breadth 2 plus or minus 0 0.2. He is asking us to find what is fractional error at the same time, what is the area now we know area length into breadth and the flexibility of the flexibility of a error see the error can be positive or negative which means here what delta a we can say which means in area a small portion can be increase or decrease that is the scope or the freedom of error in the given area so how we find area area is equals to length into breadth as usual length is 4 and breadth is 2 that is 8 as it is mentioning meters if it is meter then take meter square centimeter centimeter square okay <clears throat> total we can take okay now find what is percentage or absolute error and how we can represent area now find out absolute mean error by a how we can find by using the previous method that is 1 1 1 into delta l by l plus 1 into delta b by b so as we have discussed uh, 1 the power is going to multiply then l change in 
length that is the error by original length or the mean absolute value that means here error by b so that is nothing but 0 0.4 by 4 plus here 0 0.2 by 2 now i can take 4 by 40 plus 2 by 20 okay so further i can write 4 ones are 4 tens are 2 ones are 2 tens are 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 so what i can write 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 in simple way 1 by 10 we can write as 0 0.1 1 by 10 as 0 0.1 then what we can write 0 0.2 now we need only what is mean absolute value that means error then we can write delta a by a then delta a by 8 is equals to 0 0.2 delta a is equals to 0 0.2 into 8 that is nothing but 2 by 10 into 8 2 fours are 2 fives are 8 by 5 mm. what we can write in simple terms instead of doing all this unnecessary things we can do 0 0.2 into 8 that is what 0 0.16 16 now how to represent the area so what is the freedom of error that is 8 plus or minus 0 0.16 so here why we have mentioned plus or minus in the error it can be negative or positive so that is the way we can add in some cases it is 8.16 in some cases it is 7.84 sorry 7.84 so this is the freedom from here to here it can be this much freedom we have to commit the error in the given reading so this is how we should do so put it down okay so this is how we can calculate so once again i'm explaining all of you wait and see okay here sorry 0 0.2 we can write it as 2 by 10 into 8 so 5 is a 4 is a 2 into 4 by 5 that is 8 by 5 what i can write 5 ones are 5 ones are here how much 3 5 6 are. so 1.6 are in simple terms delta a is equals to 0 0.2 into 8 is nothing but 1.6 so here slight changes 1.6 our wish we can take whatever the error we can take so he can give whatever he want so this is how we solve so length this is the error in length is 0 0.4 and in a breadth 0 0.2 then area 8 meter square then we are trying to find out what is the mean absolute error in the given quantities so delta a by a is equals to because if you put 1 and 1 here we can take as multiplication 1 into delta l by l plus 1 into delta b by b so we are substituting a values which we know from this given quantities next by calculating 4 by 40 0 0.4 we can write as 4 by 40 plus 2 by 10 
is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 that is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 that is nothing but 0 0.2 now we know already what is area we found area here here the area delta a by 8 is equal to 0 0.2 delta a is equal to mean absolute error we are trying to find so 0 0.28 simply you can multiply 1.6 and you can substitute the value or if you want to solve normally you can do it so this is the representation this is how we represent note it down we will move for the next error next example ok so pause and note it I am going to erase this Okay, let us assume we have a question here, we have a metal whose mass is 4 grams and error is 0 0.4 gram. and length is 10 centimeter and error in length is 1 centimeter so this is the weight mass okay sorry this is not length volume This is volume. Okay, so volume we represent the unit is centimeter cube. Very simple. We have a metal whose mass is 4 gram and error is 0 0.4 gram, and the volume is 10 centimeter cube and error is 1 centimeter cube. Then find find the density so density in sense we must find what is the freedom of error also here okay we know first write mass is equals to 4 plus or minus 0 0.4 in grams and uh, length that is v actually Ten plus one R minus centimeter cube asking us to find out we can write like this density formula density formula we can write mass by volume one three if it is length volume if length is this is okay now he is asking us to find out first find out the density 4 by 10 what we can write what is its density grams okay same units we have so before we are going to solve we must check whether the given units are same or not so if it is same system it is given in CGS system so no need to change it so volume is 10 centimeter cube what we can write 4 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.4 right this is what okay now note it down this density as 0 0.4 gram per centimeter cube now he is asking us to find out what is density 
एंड मास डेल्टा एम बाय एम प्लस he is asking us volume directly mass per volume so no need to write 1 by 10 sorry we can write volume is as delta v by v so delta rho by rho is equals to delta m is 4 by 04 0.4 by 4 plus 1 by 10 now we can write 4 by 40 plus 1 by 10 ones are tens are 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 that equal to 0.1 plus 0.1 that equal to 0.2 point so this is the rate fraction ratio but we what we want only mean that equals rho into 0.2 what is density here 0. Point, 0.4 into 0.2 so we can do here okay 0.4 into 0.2 i can write 4 into 2 by 100 8 by 100 right 4 by 10 2 by 10 again right so that equal to if it multiplies 24 into 2 8 10 into 10 100 so i can write 0.08 yes so representation can be 0.4 Plus or minus zero point zero eight. So this is how we calculate the volume. <clears throat> okay, note it down. So this is how we solve the problem. Again, I am explaining you. So he given what is the mass. and what is the freedom of error here and this is volume this is how it is given so density we can find if it is 4 g then volume is 10 cm3 we can write 4 by 10 so 0.4 rho by delta rho by rho and we substituting a values finally we getting the values 0.08 The next, note it down. We'll move for the next problem. One, two, Okay, let's assume we have a cube. Whose a is two plus or minus zero point two. Let's assume. Now he is asking us to find what is the fractional error, absolute mean value, absolute mean error, and percentage error. All. So we know. What is the volume of cube is equals to six a square? Six a is two whole square. So what we can write? Six into four, twenty-four. Mm. A into a. So here cube it is. Always volume comes in centimeter. Cube it is in centimeter. Okay, now he is asking us to find what is fractional error. 
now if you take this formula in this you can take a square 6 a square but while we are calculating we are not considering the constant so a square in sense 2 into delta a by a why we are taking like this 2 see the power always multiplies then absolute mean error by a so 2 into a what is given 0 0.2 by a 2 get cancelled 0 0.2 now here if you want to know only absolute mean error in volume that is delta v into v we can write 0 0.2 into 24 what we can write 2 by 10 into 24 24 into 2 by 10 in simple terms 8 4 by 10 that is 4.8 this is how we can calculate if you need percentage simply multiple both the sides with 100 you can get a if in case this is delta v by v into 100 is equal to 0 0.2 into 100 so i can write 2 by 10 into 100 ones are tens are 20 percent so this is how we can calculate the percentage in a given volume and if you want to represent the representation can be what is the volume 24 centimeter cube plus absolute mean error what we got 4.8 plus or minus this is how we can represent the values may change continuously values it's not uh, constant for example we took the values can be anything it depends but the calculation this is how we have to do so this is the percentage error 20 percent it is almost yes obviously 4.8 is nothing but 5 5 5 is 25 so almost it is 20 percent Okay, so note it down. We'll move for the next problem. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we are going to discuss a very interesting topic. Sorry, example. So today, all numericals related to previous discussion. So let's assume. The percentage error of mass is 1% and percentage error of volume is okay of volume is two percent then find the percentage error in density so in simple simply we can write percentage error this is how we represent then percentage error of percentage error of mass and percentage error of volume percentage error of mass is how much 1% and percentage of volume is 2% so directly add no need to calculate anything directly so 3%
this is the percentage error or instead of representing like this you can write percentage error of density 3% once again I am explaining you percentage error of mass is 1% and percentage error of volume is 2% then find the percentage error in density so percentage error this is how we represent absolute error by fractional error if you multiply with 100 that is only percentage error and percentage error of mass and percentage error of volume so don't think I have not mentioned here error it is error only so now 1% plus 2% that is 3% so percentage error of density is 3% note it down we will move for the next example ok so pause and note it down so our next example is let's assume we have a equation a square by b cube and in a and b we have 2 percent and 3 percent error respectively then find the find the <laughs> then find the percentage error in p so how we can write percentage error percentage error p by p is equals to this this is fractional error this is percentage error in p is equals to 2 delta a by a into 100 plus 3 delta b by b into 100 so this is how you can calculate this is a percentage this is a percentage in both now easily you can write 2 percent plus 3 into 3 percent so that equal to 4 plus 9 percent so total 4 plus 9 13 percent so this is the percentage error percentage error in p is equals to 13 percent this is how you can calculate directly and we are very familiar with this examples in the previous discussion note it down okay so now we have another example we'll discuss now okay so we are taking a example of a density only mass per volume okay here he is asking us if there is one percent one percent of error in mass and one percent of error in length see he is not mentioned volume he is mentioned length so in simple terms what we can write mass volume is nothing but mass by length into breadth into height that is nothing but m by l into l into l that is nothing but 
m1 by l cube so if you want to know what is the percentage error in density he is asking us percentage error in density what is percentage error in density we want to find out now percentage percentage error in density is equals to delta m by m plus delta l by l but here slight concentration is important see on m it is 1 so i can multiple with 1 okay but here l is 3 that's why it's 3 now 1 into 1 percentage plus 3 into 1 percentage so we'll get 1 plus 3 percentage right that equal to 4 percent in percentage error of density right so once again i'm explaining you mass volume so if he is not given volume the error in volume if he is given in length especially this one then convert the given formula into length we can write mass per volume as length length into breadth into height l b h length into breadth into height all are lengths only l into l into l that l cube that equal to c by using the errors analysis we can find out percentage error in density this is how we represent next whatever the power is 1 into delta m by m plus here it is 3 so i have to mention here there is no plus that's why i mention here no problem delta l by l into 3 but he is given what is the percentage but don't forget here percentage in sense we should multiple with a hundred both the sides not only one side so this 100 is multiplying to this and this let's assume a and b so percentage 1 into 1 3 into 3 1 plus 3 4 4 percent is the error note it down okay now we'll discuss about significant figures after this i think we have solved required problems after that we will discuss what is significant figure okay now the significant figures figures sorry figures so what is significant figure if i take these two are accurate and this one is as doubtful so how we calculate significant figure the accurate plus first doubtful Accurate is 2, first doubtful is 1. So, here the significant figures are 3. 3, the significant figures are 3 here. This is how we calculate. Now, how to know and how to calculate a significant figure? We have certain rules. What those certain rules? What those certain rules we will discuss now. The first one is all digits, 
all digits are significant. All digits are significant. For example, 25.34. So, in this, you can see we can find this 4 is the significant. One second, let me check uh, ink. Okay. So, all digits are significant. What it means? Which are non-zero. So, in this 4, like 4.2, we have two significant figures, like 3.122. So, these are non-zero. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Total, 4 significant figures. So, all digits which are non-zero which are non-zero we can write like this all digits which are non-zero are significant okay next the zeros between uh, digits are significant significant figures between the zeros between significant figure <sighs> okay let's assume 3.002 how many significant figures we have 1 2 3 4 4 3.01 1 2 3 so the total significant figures are 4. We can write anything. Next, write it down. Then we will go. Next, 3, 4 are there. What are the rules? We will discuss. Okay. Okay. Okay, the third point is the last digit, last zero after decimal is significant. The last zero after decimal is significant. Let's assume we have 5.0. We will take 5.020. How many significant figures are there? See, after decimal, the last zero is significant. And in the previous example, we discussed that the zeros between two significant figures are this is also significant and this is also significant. Let's write properly. These are significant and this is also significant. In this two significant, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 significant figures are there. I need to write again. 5.00. 0, 0. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here also 4. See, in the previous, we discussed that the zeros between 2 significant are significant. Here, the last 0 after decimal also significant see significant so the between two significant there are two zeros those zeros also significant that's why there are four significant figures are there okay the next initially before decimal before decimal zeros are non significant see i'll ask you 0 0.0014 
9. So, I'm asking you how many significant figures are there here. So, before, initially, before or after decimal. 0 here, this one is not considerable, this one is not considerable, this one is not considerable. So, how many significant figures are there? 3. There are only 3 significant figures are there. So, initially, initially, see, before and after decimal and right after. Decimal zeros are non-significant. So, these zeros we are not going to consider. So, these 3 are the significant figures. Note it down. Okay. Next, we have fifth point. Same, the powers are considered to be non significant. Two, five point six into ten to the power of. 6. How many significant figures are there? Only 2. These powers are not going to be considered as significant. So, you can write so many examples, how many you want, you can write. Then, sixth one is <coughs> pure numbers are infinite significant number. Like, we have 9 apples. How many significant figures are there in this? Infinite infinite significant numbers so pure numbers whatever you take in all pure numbers we have significant number like constants pi 3.142 how many significant figures are there means it continues it's not a an infinite so here whatever the constant we have pure numbers we don't have any finite it is infinite significant numbers we have Note it down. Write it theoretically in note, notes. Okay. So, next is after significant, how significant continues? First round of will take further significant in multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. How we discuss? We will discuss that. So, first round off, round off, how we round off, let us assume 2.5, 0, 2.3, 2.5, 0, 2.3, 3, 5, 2, how we round off, they ask us to round off up to 3 significant figures, so first of all, 2.3 where if in case it is let us assume here the digits are even and next one is 5 after 5 if there is 0 then write the number as it is 3 Now here, is, here it is odd and something is there, then we must increase. So that is 2.34, this is how we round off. So based on the situation, we round off the things. Uh, if it is odd, even after 5, something is there even is that even here 2.3252 then round off up to 3 significant figure in sense 2.32 only because it is even that's why we must think out of it 2.32